Let's have a look at how to add subscript and superscript effects to your text. In the last video, we looked at how you needed to select text to make the standard changes such as the font style, the size, or making it bold, italic, and underlined. We also looked at how you could do the same things using the menu format font choose a font style and dial up the changes you want to make this next feature we need to use that menu for and it's adding subscript and superscript features what that is is making characters smaller and moving them either above or below the standard text so let's look at these two sets of characters I've got on the screen, X2 and H2O. X2 is more commonly known as, known as X squared, and you would normally write that 2, slightly higher than the X, and slightly smaller. To get that effect, we can use superscript. Super, because it's bigger, is higher. So we select the character, format menu, drop down to font, and then we're going to use the effects part of the dialog box. I'm going to concentrate on superscript and subscript because they are the two in the ECDL syllabus, but I will then come back and quickly mention the rest of these features. We also got a preview window. So whatever changes we make, you can see in this preview window what effect will be taking place. I said we wanted superscript. Let's see what that does. I simply put a tick in the box by clicking once with the left mouse button. And you can see what happens to that too when I toggle that feature on and off. Click once, click twice, puts a tick in and removes the tick. It switches the feature on and off. And you can see putting the feature on reduces the size of the number two and moves it higher up the, the page slightly. Let's have a look at that on the page. Click OK. And you can see that is now the more standard form of x squared. Let's try with H2O. You may know that that is the formula for water, but normally the 2 is smaller and underneath the 2, underneath the H. That's called subscript. It's under sub. So let's see. select the text, select the menu, format, and drop down to font. And then we'll use the subscript button. Again, watch the preview, switch the feature on, makes the number smaller, lowers it down slightly. Leave it selected, click on OK, and we can see now, now that is a more traditional H2O. Superscript, when it's higher, subscript under, sub means under. So to get those effects, we're simply selecting the text and using format, font, and putting a tick in a box. Let's have a look at some of these others. Let's select the word superscript and format font. And we'll just have a look at it in the preview window. You can see what strike through does, puts a single line through the middle of the text. Double strike through, puts a double line through. Superscript and subscript we've looked at. Shadow adds a very slight, it's really difficult to see, but a slight shadow to the edge of the text. Outline is obvious, just around the outside of the letters. Emboss is really quite a nice feature, as is engrave. So we're just clicking to switch the features on and off. Small capitals makes everything into a character uh, capital style. All caps uppercase and hidden. You can actually hide the text. Let's see what that does. See the text has disappeared. So some really useful features there. Have a play around with them. But remember the ones we focused on were subscript and superscript. Select the text, format font and use the tick boxes.